In this example, we see a simple circuit that will turn on one of four LEDs based on the binary input value. The input values are at pins A and B. If we input 0, 0, the first one will light. If we put input 0, 1, the second one will light. If we input 0, 1, 0, the third, and if we put in 1, 1, the fourth will light. 0, 1, 2, 3. Now uh, it's set up already to run, so if we if we put a, a one in here, um, whoops, I have to get the toggle to switch. Uh, put a one in there, you see it switches over to that one. We turn that off, and we go to one zero, and it goes to the next one, and we go to one one, it goes to the next one. These are LEDs. They come from this part of the screen, or they're part of the output mechanism. Would be something you would have on a uh, on a console of some kind. And we see how the thing, how it works. When we have the situations, go back to zero, zero, and we have zeros and zeros. First of all, only the connections only where you see the little circles are actually connected. This one here passing through is not connected. It's connected here. Uh, these round, little round circles indicate an actual connection. All right, if we've got a zero on the A bus, that goes into the inverter here and becomes a one. When we have a zero on the B bus, that comes in also through an inverter, and we have a 1. So we get 1, 1, and therefore the LED lights at this position. At this position, we have the, uh, the input to the AND comes from, uh, from the A, which is a 0. No sense going any further. If we've got a 0 going into the AND, it's not going to light. On this AND here, we have an input coming from the B bus, that's a zero, so it's not going to light. And then finally down here, we have inputs both from the A and the B bus, and they're both zero, so it's not going to light. So if we turn on the one, that situation, you can see the, one bu the A bus is now lit up. Well, first of all, that inverts on the first uh, and to a, uh, to a zero, so this is not going to light up anymore. But on this bus here, we have a one going in as a result of the A, and we have a 1 coming in as a result of the inverted B. So we do get the AND to light the LED. In this AND here, we have uh, both a 0 coming in from the uh, B bus, and uh, we have the A bus inverting to a 0, so it's not going to light. And this one down here, we have, we have an, a 1 coming in off of the A bus, but we have a 0 from the B, so it's not going to light. So if we go to the next situation, which is 1, 0, we get one zero. Um, again, the uh, B bus has got the one on it. Uh, this isn't going to work because the B is inverted to a zero. This is going to be off. Uh, this is not going to work because it's getting the zero from the A bus. It's not going to turn on. But this one will because it's getting the one from the B and it is getting the inverted A, which is a one, and it turns on the LED. Finally, we turn on both bits and the last one lights. Now, last one lights because it's got the A and the B coming in. They're both ones, and the result turns on the LED. In this situation here, we've got two ones coming into the inverters, which gives us two zeros. We're not going anywhere. This one here does not light because we have an inverted one. It's going to be zero, not going to light. Likewise, here the inverter turns off one of the inputs. It's not going to light. So this is a simple. De we could extend this decoder. We could make it for uh, for three bits of input. In which case, we would have eight lights, eight lights. Remember that if we have three bits, there are eight possible combinations, so there would be eight possible answers, and so on and so forth. And we've all seen situations where uh, lights will light up uh, one, two, three, four, and, and telling us something on a console or on a screen. This is, um, this is basically how it's done, with a bunch of ands and some inverters and some careful thinking going into the design.